You know, when life gives you lemons, make a pair of Nike Dunk Lemon Drop. Hey, what's up, guys? It's your girl Shalina, and I'm back with a new video. Today, I am having another sneaker haul because it's been a few months and I have copped a lot of heat. So, today, I'm going to show you my most recent purchases. I mean, it's summer. Oh, if I look out, not so much because it's just raining here in London and I need a holiday. But before we get to today's video, I want to give huge thanks to Farfetch for sponsoring today's video. I already spoke about Farfetch in my previous haul, but Farfetch was founded in 2007 and it is an online fashion platform. I think most of you guys know Farfetch. I love Farfetch. Farfetch has literally anything when it comes to fashion. Farfetch has over 3,000 items from brands, department stores, boutiques, so you can find the most luxury items down to smaller brands and even a pre-owned vintage selection. If you're a sneaker lover like me, you know how hard it is to even sometimes know what size you are when a new pair of sneakers just drop like for example, I got some Yeezy slides on Farfetch before and unfortunately they didn't fit me. And to just return them and then have them sent right back to me with the right size was so hassle-free and so amazing. So their customer service is literally 10 out of 10. I know I mentioned this already, but another great thing is the fact that Farfetch not only has the big known brands, but also the smaller brands because it's always good to be on the hunt for the next big thing. So if you shop on Farfetch, you can support these little niche brands and yes, yeah, stay ahead of the curve. I'm going to make sure to link everything that I'm about to show you from Farfetch down in the description box. So make sure to use my discount code SHALINAYT10 on your Farfetch order. So the first item that I got from Farfetch are Balenciaga sneakers. So these are the Trek 2 runners. I love them. And um, the difference about them and the normal Trek runners are that they are open. So it's more of a summer shoe, I would say. I actually been wanting to get them. But every time when I went into a boutique, my size was sold out. And obviously, I went on Farfetch and I found them. These are actually from Balenciaga UK. So I had them within a day or two, super, super fast. Best thing about them is that they just go with anything that you wear. Like honestly, I've had them on with dresses. I've had them on with jeans, joggers. This is definitely gonna be my everyday sneaker. I know this is meant to be a sneaker haul, but I've picked out two more items from Farfetch that I wanna show you guys. I mean, as you know, I'm even wearing it. I am a huge fan of Palm Angels and I'm a huge fan of joggers. So I had to get these Palm Angels tracksuit bottoms. And they came actually from Palm Angels Italy and the shipping process was also super fast again in under three days. The best thing about these pants is the fact that they're so comfortable and Farfetch has so many colorways. I'm saying colorways as if it's a pair of sneakers. Yeah, there are so many colors, not colorways on Farfetch. So the last item that I got from Farfetch is this Heron Preston bodysuit in brown and it was shipped to me from Mason Studio. I've actually been eyeing this bodysuit for so long. It was in my wish list for a long, long time on Farfetch. What you don't know about this bodysuit is the fact the quality is amazing. The way it fits on your body, it just hides your curve in the most perfect way. So yeah, this was just a must have for me. So that was everything that I got from Farfetch. As mentioned before, I've linked everything down in the description box. So make sure to check it out and use my discount code SHALINAYT10 to save some coins. So on to more sneakers. Um, this pair right here just screams summer. So this is a pair of Nike Dunk in the colorway green glow. As you guys probably see, I mean, I'm sitting in front of a lot of Dunks. I am a huge fan of the Nike Dunk. They're just so comfortable. They're the perfect summer sneakers. I love wearing them, you know, with some socks, some sneaker socks, maybe some shorts or a dress. Um, this is just a perfect, perfect summer sneaker. I actually wore these the other day, so I'm gonna make sure to add my outfit picture on here. Um, obviously, I had to do a match made in heaven again because I love just matching my sneakers to my clothes. But I feel like this is really a sneaker that everyone needs in their summer closet. Another pair of Nike Dunks, and this pair also screams summer to me. 
This pair right here is the Nike Dunk Lemon Drop. My favorite thing about the sneaker is the little lemon on here. I mean, how cute is that? How cute is that? This little lemon. That's what I'm saying, it's just summer. You know, when life gives you lemons, make a pair of Nike Dunk Lemon Drop. The color, you know, is also not too much. It's actually very subtle, you know, really like a lemonade. And I really love the gum sole. You know, it just gives them a different detail. I actually now notice I've never had these on yet, but summer isn't really even here yet in London. You know, the day is gonna come where I'm gonna take them out for a walk, but it's also a super cute summer shoe and definitely one of my favorite dunks. Next pair of sneaker is a Air Force One. And these are the tear away ones. You've probably seen them, was it last year or the year before last year? But there was actually a drop before them and I don't know why, but I skipped on them. But this time I had to get them because brown was involved and I love me some brown. So I had to get them. And for those that don't know what the Air Force One tear away even is, um, this is now how I received the sneaker. I uploaded a TikTok on how I tear everything away. Some people say you're not even supposed to do it like that. You're supposed to just, you know, wear them until they tear away. But I just couldn't wait. I had to see how it looks. And it was actually so hard to do. Like I done one sneaker and then I said, Patrick, please do the other one because this is hard work. It's hard work, but it was fun. I actually wanted them because I didn't have a tear away one in my collection. And obviously as a sneaker head, I needed one in my collection. The next pair is from Adidas. And I'm always seeing these comments, oh, the way you pronounce Adidas. And I just have to repeat myself that this is honestly how you pronounce Adidas. You don't say Adidas. Anyway, I have a pair of Adidas Yeezy Foam Runners. I showed you them in a previous haul, but in sand. And now, because they're so comfortable, I had to get them in mineral blue. I know you either hate them or you love them. But one thing I know is that they grew a lot on people. Because I remember when I posted them once and I only had negative comments on my Instagram. I was thinking, um, am I blind? Like, they're actually nice. I can only tell you guys that they are so comfortable. They are... Honestly, my everyday sneakers, I know I said this about the Balenciagas, but now in the summertime, they are my everyday sneakers. And I wish I had these in Tokyo where my feet were paining me so much and I needed comfortable sneakers and these are literally the one. And I get also a lot of questions on the sizing. Um, I actually sized up one size. So with the Yeezy slides, I sized up two sizes, but with these, I sized up one size. I actually had them in my size and a size bigger. Um, but then I noticed, you know, the bigger size was more comfortable, but then after a few weeks, months, I noticed that they did get a bit bigger. These are honestly in my top three favorite sneakers of 2021. The next sneaker is the Nike Sakai Vapor Waffle in Sesame Blue. Um, I haven't had these on yet, but they are so so comfortable if you're looking for unique comfortable sneakers these are the ones like honestly I love them so much I actually have them in another color um, as well I have them also this colorway I know not everyone want to walk around with green and yellow sneakers these sesame blue ones I think they are very subtle and more for like everyone this is also the collab between nike and sakai but this is the ld waffle and these were my favorites before but i must say because they're so narrow and they are not as narrow and i have wide feet they're much more comfortable guys they're just much more comfortable yeah i also find the silhouette a bit nicer let me know what you guys think like what silhouette do you prefer the ld waffle or the vapor waffle but for some reason i don't know what it is is it because i really like chunky sneakers but these are just the one for me, but I still love them. Okay, guys, Whew. this pair of sneaker, yeah, has been on my wish list for so long. And I just didn't want to pay resale for them. But I just had to accept it after a while that if I don't pay resale on them, I'm just never ever going to own them. So that's what I did. And I got these. These are the Air Jordan 4 Union in Guava Ice. Oh, most of the people that I know, they're always loving the off-white fours and I love them a lot as well. But the Guava Ice Union Force, 
are just my personal favorite when it comes to fours. I just love them so, so much. Let me know in the comments, what is your favorite fours? Like, I'm sure everyone's gonna say the off-white fours. I feel like these are so underrated. They're just underrated. But if you know, you know, they are just banging. I mean, this color combination is just one out of one. And um, I don't know, maybe there's another four coming out in the future. It's gonna change my mind. But for now, these are the one. Then I copped another pair of fours. So these are the University Blue Air Jordan fours. Also super cute. I actually really like them as well. I would want to know from you guys, which ones do you prefer? The University Blue fours or the University Blue ones? I actually think fours are more comfortable than the Air Jordan ones. I definitely think this was one of the top sneakers this year. Um, and everyone should go get a pair. I say this about every sneaker, but yeah, love them. Normally I show you so many ones and Air Forces. I feel like today I'm showing you a lot of fours. This is another pair of fours, the white Oreos. They just came out like a week ago or something. I had them even before release. I was super gassed. You know, I love them. Definitely a must have and I think I need to cut me another pair, you know, want to wear I want to just keep here on my sneaker shelves because they're white and it can get a bit problematic This is a good alternative I think if you're not really into colors, but you still want to you know rock nice craps I noticed that my four collection is growing and growing and growing I have a lot more on my wish list and there are unions coming out that Patrick already has um, and I want them too. So these are definitely on my wish list but they are not even out yet and Patrick was blessed with an early access on the sneakers app. I feel like you know since I won, I'm not even won, I mean I paid for them. Since I got the chunky donkeys off the sneakers app, you know I've just been neglected like I am hating because I want these Union Fours as well. And last but not least, I'm gonna show you another pair of Yeezys. These are Yeezy Slides in the colorway core. Um, I actually got them a while ago, but I thought I'm just putting them into the video because I actually never had these on. Now it's supposed to be summer and I might rock them because I got them in the winter. I mean, I said it before, but with Yeezy Slides, you do need to size up two sizes. One size won't be enough. It won't be enough guys, it won't be enough. Normally I show you like 20 pairs of sneakers, but that was just a, you know, a little pile up of two months. And like I said, I don't really buy that many sneakers, even though there's so much more on my wish list. So brace yourself, another sneaker haul is just pending, I'm telling you. Make sure to let me know in the comments which pair is your favorite one. But yeah, guys, make sure to like and subscribe. Make sure to follow me on all my social media accounts. And then I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.